Hello everybody, this is Ryan from the Chocolate Milk Club, back with Let's Play Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment. I'm ready to continue our little venture here, right off the bat where we left off. Um, I'm gonna go to the Iron Whale and face off Treasure Knight, see what he's gotta say about this place. Who's a wealthier financier than... Financer? Financer. Yes, I know how to say words. Who's a wealthier financer than Treasure Knight? With his sunken riches, the tides will turn indeed. Let's give it a shot. My lord, are you prepared to visit the Iron Whale? Yeah. Whoa! Rise. Came in and interrupted everything. Stop right there! Rise is here to save the day! Uh, Rise? The one and only! Uncle said there's evil stuff going on in here, and when evil's afoot, Rise is on the rise! Childish. You don't belong in this- oh, in this place. Run along before you get hurt. Oh, snap. Who dares to intrude in my tower? Hey lady, my name's Rise. Are you here to help me beat these guys up? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Looking for an apprentice of your own, Spectre Knight? He's nobody, just a naive kid. Let him be. I'll escort him out myself. A nobody, you say? Well, that just won't do. Let's make something of him, shall we? Oh no. What are they doing to Rise? What? What are you doing to me? The darkness, it hurts! Stop! Marg. Holy shit. Whoa! So potent. Ha ha ha! Now this is the kind of feeling I could get used to. Put him up, Skinny. Why don't we take my new powers for a spin. Alright, sure. Let's see how difficult Rise is in this game. It's pretty badass so far. It's like Black Knight after the same thing happened to him. Gotta watch out for his boomerang turrets. He's getting me. I didn't mean to launch it right after. That's why it's not too good during the boss fights, because I gotta hit him. Oh, this is sick. I love how they just make all the mini bosses better. If you get to refight Boz as a dark form, that would be amazing. Or any of the other ones, really. Black Knight was already really cool, too. Uh, I'm gonna fail this attempt, but that's okay. Yeah. Slash me out of the air. Alright, let's give that another try. Oh, Rise is so sick this time. He's been heckin' bamboozled by the Enchantress. Now he's evil, Rise. And once you get the hang of the patterns, it's very satisfying for like every fight so far. It's getting close. Nice. Good fight. Maybe there's a second form. Kinda looks like Mona, interestingly enough. Oh how delightful. I'm impressed, Rise. Perhaps I can find a use for you around here. Let's see, that nervous acolyte is certainly unfit to guard this mirror. Take his place if you would. Huh. Of course, my master. Can I destroy him? Not too hasty, my child. He can ponder his fate in the dungeon. Y and you. Stop wasting time. Return to the task at hand. And do not fail me again. Well then. It's an interesting turn of events. I'm sure we'll encounter the rest of the, uh... You know, mini bosses from the base game and Plug of Shadows. It's just interesting that it was so abrupt. Well then, puppet, out with it. Where shall I send you next? Can I start off with more than half my will? Well, as I was trying to do in the first place, let's do Treasure Knight. You sure you want to go to the I Iron Whale underling? 
He's so evil now. Whoa, we're outside of the Iron Whale. So dramatic. This game is beautiful. Is that a lighthouse on the left? Whoa. This music. It's like an orb. Of some sort. It's mobile, so. It's interesting. This music's hype. So you gotta bring the orb out without getting crushed. Oh no, the eels. Not the eels. Oh well. I guess I wouldn't get crushed. I just assumed the water would bring me up. This music's so good. Gotta be just low enough to get the gems. Not too low. Yeah, like that. Can't wait to hear the rest of that track play out. Holy shit, there's a lot of checkpoints. I'm happy enough that Shovel Knight is in Rivals of Aether, but just imagine any of these characters in Smash. <laughs> I know it's never gonna happen, but that's alright. It's fun to think about. Oh yeah, he jumped so high in the water. It's true. It's true for Shovel Knight as well. How am I supposed to get that? Oh, I see. I just didn't see the platform underneath it. So far it's just a normal level, but with underwater physics. That first part with the orbs was interesting. Ah, he got me. Can I use these? Oh, that's awesome. Alright, let's do this. There's something up higher here? Yeah, it looks like it. Just a gem. One of the mana rays. Loving this. Alright, should be able to make it across on the right without tentacle and then shablam. Nice. Can I go down from here? Oh, nice. Okay. I like that there was gems the first time I had to do that. It kind of gave me a hint that I would have to do that sometimes. More often than in, uh... I don't know, you drop down quite a bit in the first two campaigns as well. My memory serves me right. Oh wait, I missed the door. Aw, oh, damn. Oh well. I missed a secret entrance on the right there. That's okay. Didn't really see it for the last second. Be careful with that one. It's funny that the only reward you get for doing the tower climb is confetti. <laughs> there is an achievement, but... But... I don't know if that's worth it. Oh! Ow. One of my favorite stages in the Mega Man X series is, um... Dangerous Reef. And I got a lot of... I, the first time I played this game, Shovel Knight. Um, the base campaign, I got a lot of dangerous refives from Iron Whale. Now it's just 
brimming with that. Cool coral reefs in the background. Blue shading. Nautical theme levels have the potential to be awesome or the potential to be extremely fucking annoying. And <laughs> so far, in every campaign in this game, it's been amazing. Especially in this one, holy crap. I'm also just running into obstacles like a dummy. That power-up's hype. Trinket, rather. Alright, let's try this again. There you go. No quicksand. Oh yeah, I wonder what the mini boss will be like. The anglerfish is still here. Wait, do I go to the right here? There we are. Hey, check it out. Here he is. Speak of the devil. Alright. Um... What would be the best for this? I think this would, actually. Let's give it a shot. Oh, but it's different, because you gotta do this. Makes his platforms a little useless. That's alright, though. This is sick. Just gotta be extra careful. Be almost down. This is if he has the same amount of health as base campaign. Nice. Yay! All the fishies. What am I collecting the fishies for? Because why not, I guess. Oh no. There's another secret room right here. Just some gems. So much stuff I'm passing up. It feels like I'm just enjoying the ride, though. Let's go and break these bubbles. Oh no, that was my bad. All right, let's try this again. Oh, this guy. You're the worst! Oh god! That's close. Nice, health upgrade. Wonder how many there are in the game. I think I already said that, but so far we have seven. I'm guessing there's like I don't know, just as many as Shovel Knight, probably ten. Oops. Of course, these won't leave me up. Oh, I didn't quite touch the wall for the wall grab there. My bad. Probably about halfway done with the level. Oh no, I fell so far. Alright. Platforming is a little more punishing on this one. On this stage, that is. Not as much as the tower that we had to climb, but still. It's odd. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I can't latch onto that. It's my bad.
I've been loving watching the um, the Normal Boots Madness show, I guess. What do you call it the show? It's just a debate, really. Right now they're talking about um, 90s cartoons. Which ones are the best? I guess I'm not fully caught up, so the ones they would be talking about now is they're debating about which PlayStation games are the best. Um, I love it. It's good stuff. Hearing them argue about why 90s cartoons are better than each other is... I don't know. It's interesting, but they're... I don't know. They're really good at coming up with legitimate reasons, I think. It's just fun to listen to. It's fun to listen to people justify about things they're passionate about. Underwater rubble here. Jump the spikes. If you haven't watched Madness, I would... I would definitely suggest going on the Normal Boots' channel and watching it. Oh, who's this new enemy? He's got luscious lips. Big ol' mouth. Looks like he's invincible, really. Just gotta bait his attacks. Maybe use him as a platform. Looks like I can hit him. He's not too bad. Might become a little more of an annoyance here in a sec. Get out of my way. I'm guessing... Oh, that works. Jeez, the anchor crushed him. Ooh, skull time. Screwed that up. Uh, no, not even close. We got it. Now we got this guy. Let's go and get him through the wall if we can. Eh, not really. I'm sure it probably would have been a better idea. So it depletes your darkness every time you swing, which is kind of ridiculous. This music's incredible. This kind of reminds me of the bonus room. Treasure portions of Shovel Knight. All right, we're getting close to the boss fight. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, this fight reach it. Nice. All right. This portion's a little different. Oh no! I screwed that up. I whiffed. I tried to land on the smoke. I think I prefer to use the turret for this guy. Yeah, it worked. See ya. Anything on the left here? Nah. I'm gonna get used to how high you can jump in the water and then it's gonna screw me over for the later levels. <laughs> so I'm probably get used to it. That part would be too easy, Spectre Knight. Treasure back. Dope. Alright, let's see what the Treasure Knight fight is like. Uh, I just bought or brought my ship to the surface and already I find a beggar on board. I'm not here for a handout, instead I bring a proposition. Unrestricted salvage rights and a place as a, as the Enchantress Financer. Oh, I'll gladly spend gold to make gold, but how can I take your word that my investment should be secure? Our deals go far beyond words. Behold a glimpse of the power she commands. And you beat the shit out of him. I don't know, he's pretty strong too. This turret's nuts. Even if this fight is exactly the same, Good stuff. Oh, whoa, he drained the water? Nuts. So much gold. Is it bad that I just now realized that 
the things that he's throwing up in the boss arena is gold and not sand, and that's why, like, it's his thing. Such a dummy. There's, like, big old piles of treasure in the background and everything. Oh, well. We got him. We got Treasure Knight. I love how they change up these fights just enough. Make them really cool. All right. We're a little more than... Oh, there's the, uh, the Iron Whale in the background there. It's pretty cool. Okay. Got plenty of treasure, too. Let's see if we can get any more curios. Hover plume. Shh. Float for a short time. Interesting. Let's do it. Let's see how well guarded this is. Can't swing, as usual. Oh, that's cool. So if you can't make a jump, just barely. This is this is the item you want. Very interesting. I like it. Alright. Does use quite a bit of darkness for every use though. Uh, I don't know if I'll make it there. Hopefully there's candles everywhere here. Excellent! Away we go. Hello. Use it wisely. Alright, I feel like I should upgrade my trinkets instead of buying the useless uh, garb first. Check it out. So, there's the rats from the Explodatorium, or from the stage we just did. Wait, there's no rats in the Iron Whale, what? I guess it was from the stage I had already done. Same with this guy. They're just playing games with each other. Oh, hello. I'm all juiced up. Customers are just pouring in. Thanks for sticking your neck out for me. It's funny because he's got a big neck. So there's enemies from his area. The Iron Whale now. Just saw one of them. It's cool that it slowly adds more and more NPCs. Let's see what Treasure Knight's got to say. There's a cool looking NPC on the left here. I was told there was a banquet hall. This? This is a travesty. The only thing fit to order here is a complete renovation. I wonder if you can still change the, um, the way they look in the Spectre Knight and Plague Knight campaigns. Because I know you can change their genders, but it definitely changes the way they look as a whole. Ah, Spectre. I'm working on my technique for a killer new move. Brace yourself for the kiss of death. What? Wait, what? Aw. <laughs> I'm sorry? Uh... It didn't work! I guess I... Oh no, he died! My victim is supposed to die. Not me! No, I'm double dead! Oh well, practice makes perfect, eh, Spectre? I love it. That's actually hilarious. Well, that just happened. Shout out to Gaul. What do you got to say? Lichyard is emptying out fast. Homes and graves, big and small. Everyone's just taking off. Eerie. Indeed. Get one coin from him every time. Alright. Well, we've seen most of the things that are new here. Let's go ahead and upgrade maybe like two of the trinkets. Upgrade this one finally. Probably more likely to use that. Yields even more, or more will. Hover plume. Grants invincibility while floating. Damn. I don't know, these are both pretty good. Let's go ahead and snag this one. I wonder how many more trinkets I need. Looks like I'm missing one, two, three, four, five. Not bad. So qu quite a few members of the Order of No Quarter left. Well then, pop it out with it. What shall I send you next? Yep. So we only have four more members of the Order of No Quarter now. Um, I'll probably either do Mole Knight or Polar Knight next. Until then, I'm probably gonna end the episode around this same area. Seems like a good cutoff place. Thank you all so much for watching, as usual. Um, 
I have just been really digging this campaign. The side campaign's super sick. The amount of work they put into it is very clear. Just in the little amount of time that I put into it thus far. I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.